In the bow rotation exercises, we change the amount of bow hair touching the string, and we change the part of the hair touching the string, whether it's the top or the bottom. As an exercise for the fingers, I like to practice this exercise in groups of duple and triple meters, starting maybe with four, then six, then eight, and then twelve. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, I like to think of the third finger as controlling this rotation, though of course all of the fingers are involved. Controlling this is important for changing tone color, and it's especially important for controlling whether the bow is more into the string or whether it wants to come out of the string. When the bow stick is facing you, the bow tends to be more in the string. When the stick is facing away, the bow will tend to bounce more, producing the jeté stroke. It's also good to practice this as waves on two strings. The slower waves are produced by the upper arm, the faster waves are produced by the wrist and then the fingers. And when we're working on this, of course, we're practicing for the Brahms Sonata in F major in the first movement. <laughs> 